Hi kids! Uh, today we're doing lesson five in the problem set for module four and we're going to apply all the things we've been working on in the last few lessons uh, so that we can solve word problems. So there's really nothing in the way of notes that we need to go over. You should have your notes handy every time we do any problems at all so that you can look at examples of previous types of problems. So we start out with problem number one. A total of two yards of fabric, a total of two, is used to make five identical pillows. How much fabric is used for each pillow? So as always, I will ask you to make a tape diagram and show the hole and the number of parts because this is going to help you. Two yards is the hole. How many pillows? Five. So you can create a hole or a tape diagram of any number of parts. And so if I make a sentence, a expression out of this, two yards is the hole that's being divided by five. And if you apply the same strategies that we did in the previous lessons, it's just two divided by five. Okay, so this is the amount of yardage per pillow. So uh, what else do we have to do? Well, we're going to kind of show both ways to get into it and then to get out of it so you can check your work. So if each one is two-fifths of a yard, then how do you check it? Well, it's two-fifths five times. And since we're not multiplying, we're adding because we haven't really gone over that yet. And if I have these two fifths five times, I have two, four, six, eight, ten, which is ten over five, which is really two because this is a division problem. This shows me that. Yes, I have the same number that I started with. I've split it apart and then I can put it back together. So that's what we're doing today is um, taking things apart and putting them back together. And then we're going to label it correctly, of course, two fifth yard of fabric for each pillow. Take the time to label everything. It's really critical that you understand what it is that you're finding and how to label it properly. Okay, an ice cream shop, always the food, uses four pints of ice cream to make six sundaes. How many pints of ice cream are used for each sundae? So again, what's our total? And how many things are we making? All I have is four pints and I'm making six Sundays. So divide it in half and then make each half section into three pieces. So each of these represents one Sunday. That's a funny spelling word. It's not Sunday like the day, it's D-A-E like the treat, yum. So if all I have is four divided by six, I get four sixths of a pint for each Sunday. Pint, P-T, squeeze it in there. Okay, so that's your answer. Now prove it. Four sixths, six times. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and then skip count. It's four times six, or you can skip count four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, or just do four times six is 24. Either way, you get 24 over six, because when you add, you're not adding the bottom. This is how many pieces there are. So this is our fractional unit. 24 divided by six makes four, and that's where you get your four points. So I just proved that my answer is correct, used for each Sunday. There you go. 
Okay, and of course you can label each one if you want to, but I'm not gonna make you do that today. We're already doing enough over here with the check. More ice cream. They must know it's snack time. An ice cream shop uses six bananas to make four identical sundaes. How many bananas are used in each sundae? Use tape diagram. Okay, so what do you put on top? Is it the sundaes? Is it the bananas? How are you going to know? It's, they're telling me these are the identical things. Okay, this is what's being repeated, the sundaes. So what's my total? Six bananas. So now what? Instead of this one, I have six that's being divided by four. This is my whole. This whole always goes first, which means my fraction looks like this, which means I won't leave it like that. I will finish this off as a mixed number. Four fits into six one time, but there are two fourths left over. Okay, so for each Sunday, I have one and two fourths, which you know is also equal to one and a half bananas. All the way off the page, bananas for each Sunday. Oops, yes, Sunday. Sorry, I was like, didn't we just do that on the last one? Yes, we did, and we're doing it again. And so you can check your one and two fourths plus one and two fourths plus one and two fourths. One, two, three, four. Two, four, six, eight. This you know equals two, which gives us our six bananas. And since that matches, this is our final answer. Okay, so you prove it going in, you take it apart, and then put it back together. Take it apart, sorry, I was pointing to the wrong one. Take it apart, put it back together. So you proved it. More word problems, more, more. These are so fun, we love, we love. All right, Julian has to read four articles for school. He has eight nights to read them. This is the total, this is how we're gonna split it. But he decides to read the same number of articles each night. How many articles will he have to read per night? Also, part B, what fraction of the reading assignment will he read each night? So it kind of, this is critical that you create a tape diagram that is correct. The total is four articles. But how many nights? Make it long enough where you don't have to squeeze it in. Okay, again, and start with half when it's an even number. Put it in half, half the left, half the right, and then half or split evenly each section. That's how you can get uh, even sections. Okay, so um, he's got four articles divided by the eight nights, which is four divided by eight, which is really half. And you probably were looking at this saying, hmm, well, if I have four articles and I only do half of an article each night, then, then each two halves would make one whole. And so then you can also start seeing how to put things together if you create a tape diagram that has um, the proper number of pieces. So be really careful when you create them half an article. Now, I'm not gonna check all these problems. We're gonna go forward because you can see how these would correctly add up. Half plus half equals one. This is one article, two, three, four, there you go. Okay, so half an article each night. Then, the second part of the question is what fraction of the reading assignment will he read each night? Okay, well, each of these represents a day. Okay, so this is one day, as well as being half the article. So if they all represent a day, then it, it's, it's like it, there's not even a question here. He's got eight nights for the assignment. 
so he's reading one eighth of the assignment each night. It's so silly sometimes. I'm like, well, obviously it's one eighth. So this is in eight parts. Make the whole. And that's uh, the whole assignment, okay? Okay, so eight parts make the whole assignment, eight nights for the assignment. So it's one eighth of the assignment each night. So this is this answer here. All right, moving on away from the articles and into more food. Yes, pizza. 40 students shared five pizzas. Are there 40 pizzas? No, there are five pizzas. But they shared it equally. How nice. 40 students. Now, remember when I did the one, two, three, dot, dot, dot? 40 kids. Okay, so that's what you can do when you... Uh, have so many and you don't want to make all these parts just know that there are 40 students how much pizza will each student receive five is what you have as a total divided by 40 which is equal to 5 fortieths or 5 divided by 40 you can simplify this um, I'm, I always like to put equal because I want to do it in my head but I will show you that if you want to simplify a fraction, you find a common divisor. 5 fits evenly into both 5 and 40 to give you 1 eighth. And so what fraction of the pizza did each student receive? Each student received P-I-V-E-D 1 eighth of a pizza. So it's really just taking the tape diagram and looking at it and seeing that we have this many people and this many. And so it tells you each pizza has to be uh, cut into at least eight pizzas to be easy. If each pizza is in 16 pieces, then they get two. Um, moving on to Lillian. Lillian had two, two liter bottles of soda which she distributed equally between 10 glasses. How much soda was in each glass? And first express your answer as a fraction of a liter. So I don't wanna do two, two liters. I wanna have all the soda together. So I'm gonna put four liters into my tape diagram. And then she has 10 glasses. And so again, I'm just gonna do one, two, three, dot, 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 all the glasses. 10 glasses. 4 liters divided by 10 is equal to 4 tenths. Now that is also able to be simplified because I can find a common divisor. You can leave it like this. This is fine. Or, sorry, oops. I gave it away. 2 halves. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is the same, okay? So this is our answer as a fraction of a liter. Each glass had 4 tenths or 2 fifths liter. Now there's more, part B and part C up on the next page. It says express your answer as a decimal number of liters. So that's okay. I'm just going to take my four tenths liter, not the two fifths. Why not two fifths? Because fifths do not have a place value position. This is tenth. This is hundredth. This is thousandth. Fifth does not fit there. So you put it back to four tenths so that you can get this value. Once you have four tenths, easy peasy. You just write it a different way. Four tenths of a liter. This is a decimal number of liters. Now, what about this one? Express your answer as a whole number of milliliters. Okay, well, if we're dealing with 
liters, we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Maybe you know that, or maybe you totally forgot. King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. This is the units. This is like the ones place. This is the decimal. This is the thousands. So when you talk about liters, okay, this is the liter right here in this column. Then if you're switching over to milliliters, it's a one, two, three position shift. And if I'm showing more of the smaller unit, then it's multiplying by a thousand. So we're gonna take our amount that we have and multiply it a thousand times which means, and I'll show you with our shifting, one, two, three. Okay, so you should end up with 400 milliliters, a whole number of milliliters, there it is. Because when you multiply this number by a thousand, you have to shift the digits to the left or move the decimal to the right. It's however you want to think about that, but it's three positions. And finally, we're doing so good on time. The Caliph family likes to paddle along the Susquehanna River. They paddled the same distance each day over the course of three days, traveling a total of 14 miles. Okay, they gave us a nice total here, a total of 14 miles. And it's three days. One, two, three. Day one, day two, day three. So how many miles did they travel each day? Show your thinking in a tape diagram. Take your 14. Uh, let's just label these. Day one, day two, day three. 14 divided by three is 14 divided by three. So if you want to show this in a mixed number, remember this is a division sign. 3 fits into 14 four whole times, and that would be for a total of 12. 12 plus 2 gets 14, and it's 4 and 2 thirds miles each day. So this is 4 and 2 thirds, and this is 4 and 2 thirds, and so on. But there's more. Last one. If the caliphs went half their daily distance. Okay, so half of four and two thirds. You can make a number bond there. But extended their trip to twice as many days. Well, that makes a new tape diagram. Three days here and three days here for a total of six days. How far would they travel? So the number of miles is now the question. Which one? So what if I break this in half? Half of four is two, and half of two is one. So two and a third, two and a third, and that would be four and two thirds. And so now I know that two and one third miles is the one day amount but if I prove that by doing two and a third six times two and a third whoops that's two and a third one two three four five six then you can add up the whole numbers two four six eight ten twelve Add up your numerators, one, two, three, four, five, six. Denominator stays the same. Six thirds is equal to two, so I have 12 plus two, and I get 14 miles again. But that makes sense, because if they double this and half that, we're still gonna end up with the 14 miles. So I hope this has been a really good video. Click subscribe if you like them, and uh, you'll be notified when I post a new one. Have a super duper day, and I'll see you guys real soon.